I asked me if I wanted to be a counselor. The girl, the lady did? I Allison love did? that camp. It sounds like such a, like, a piece of, like, 1950s and 60s. It does. Yeah, it does. Like no competition. It it's great. Yep. All right, y'all know who this is. This is Casey Orr. We love Casey. Our sweet 20-something. So it's time for you to come back and tell us what you did this weekend, always on a Monday. Yes, this weekend I went to a women's self-defense class. And it was taught by a local police officer, and it was the coolest thing. <laughs> and, you know, I think it's something that all women should know how to do. And um, he taught us how to take your purse and defend yourself with your purse, things that you would have on you, like your cell phone, a bottle of water. Okay. So it was it So was instead of having to go out and buy something, oh, use yeah. what you have, mm -hmm. you can find a weapon in almost anything. Absolutely. That's exactly what he said. And the women that came to the class were sing single moms and just people who were like, I don't know how to fight, so I want to teach myself uh -huh. how to defend myself if something were to happen. How long so. was the class? How long were you there? The class was about an hour and a half to two hours, and this particular class was the last of a six-week group of classes. And so these girls were so fierce. Look at them. Yeah, they were, they were great. Mm -hmm. And you do a cardio workout beforehand, and they teach you just how to take care of yourself. You know what, it's really it, neat. it also must build confidence, too, because you feel great. I mean, yeah. if, if, I mean, for a woman, for anybody mm -hmm. to have that skill. What was your biggest Absolutely. takeaway from there, Casey? Um, just a, a sense of, I mean, I didn't go to the whole six-week right. class, but I feel better now that I could defend myself just from <laughs> watching it. Now, they let me warm up with them, but... Uh -huh. I, they said to carry um, a wow. couple rolls of quarters in your purse, and just it gives you a sense of security that you didn't have before. Because it's so heavy, you can yes. whack them with your purse. Yes, you can be bomb. Right. Them. It's fun. Interesting. So, yeah. And we should say too, you mentioned that you don't mind saying that yeah. you kind of had a personal inspiration to, to take this class. Yes. Yes, I did. Uh, a few weeks ago, um, a friend and I were held at gunpoint and robbed in a very wit well lit parking lot, and so you just never know when it's going to happen. And um, I wish I had taken this before. Um, but do they actually that recommend that women, I mean, I understand that if they, if they have to defend themselves, please do so. But, right. I mean, a lot, I mean, most people will not have to face that, though, which is great. Right, right. But what did they tell you about, I mean, if you're being held at gunpoint, mm -hmm. that's kind of different from whacking them over the head with a purse of quarters, That's right? exactly yeah. what the um, police officer, Officer Hogwood, said. He said, if you are... Um, in a situation where a gun is at your head, that's completely different, just to yeah. do what he says. But he said that you can start to focus on different things, like what are what do they look like, certain characteristics, because when you have a gun at your face, you get tunnel vision, and you just look at the gun, and that's all you see, mm -hmm. instead of, like, you have no idea what he looked like, because you're just looking at the gun. And that way you can help police catch them exactly. first and later on. Mm -hmm. And help other people out. All right, the so. class, is it offered periodically? Um, he said that if you can get a group of 10 people, he can teach it. This particular class is at the sports barn on Lee Highway. Um, he said failing to prepare is preparing to fail, and that really spoke to me. I thought that was so neat. Um, there's his website, his phone number, to contact him, and he is a police officer that just really cared. And it, you could just see it, just the way he was dealing with these women, and just really wanted you to succeed. He's All right, really crazy. cool. What are you doing next week? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a couple options. And if you okay. want to email Casey, we have her email up there for you. It's yes. kor at wrcbtv.com. Give her some suggestions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Thanks, Great, Casey. Casey. Thank you. We're back after this. Wow.